Hello and welcome to another exciting application in AI Agriculture CS. So in this application, we have developed the front end using React and the back end is in Python. And so this is a quick demo of this application. So here you can see we have a Google map type interface. So a user can drop a pin. Let's say if I drop a pin here around Vancouver. So once they drop the pin on the map, Essentially, the user pinpoints the location of their farm on this map, and they can select a crop type that they want to grow in that area. Let's say I have these options, which are supported by our application. So let's say that we select corn, and then we get some predictive analysis. So right now, how this is working is that we have data for the load of areas in Canada, for which we have the crop yield for the different types of crops, which I showed earlier. So we have the data for the crop yield for around the last 40 years. Using that data, we predict what the outcome for the next year of the crop yield per acre is going to be. So we can see we have this historical data and this is the prediction. We have basically trained an LSTM to predict what the crop yield is going to be in the next year based on the historical data of that crop type in that region. After that, we have integrated ChatGPT so we can guide you further. So it's here. It's great to hear that you're interested in predicting crop yield and then tell you based on the crop yield values from the last 25 years, my LTSM based model predicts a yield of 120 for the upcoming year. Now let's compare the specific predicted yield to the yield from the previous years. It tells you that the range is between 41 to 140. So in recent years, the yield has been consistently high, and it seems to be on the higher side. Since it's based in British Columbia, you should consider some other environmental factors, etc. So now, if I ask that, how can I achieve a target of 140 tons per acre? And let's see what ChatGPT responds with. We can see it comes up with several steps that we should take in order to achieve this target. And so this is the very basic overview of the application. One thing, if you want to try with a different crop, you can click on the reset crop button and select some other crop. And you could also change your location. Let's say we want to go to a crop somewhere in Ontario. So let's select this location and let's select flaxseed and get some predictive analysis. Okay, so as we can see, we always get a graph for the prediction and then we get some basic overview of the yield. Basically, it is comparing with the previous year's data and then giving some advice, etc. So that's how we can again chart whether it's based on its response. So this is a quick overview of this application. In the coming videos, we will cover how we have developed the front end for this application from where we got the training data and how we developed the back end for this application.